Hello YouTube and welcome to day 21 of my 31 day video challenge. Today I was a little shocked. I went to my advanced research methods class and we talked about freedom of information and our right as citizens and journalists to know what our government is doing. And I was very surprised at what I learned. Um, our professor started listing a bunch of organizations that were exempt from our requests, including some very important organizations like the Canadian Blood Services or Genome Canada. There was also one about agricultural training, which was a little weird, but we won't get into that. And it turns out that getting information that we should already have in the first place is very difficult in Canada. Of 89 countries around the world, Canada is ranked 62nd. 62nd. That is absolutely unacceptable. I mean, here we are, a country that prides itself on democracy and getting citizens involved in politics and our freedoms of expression and of knowledge. And, you know, it just doesn't make sense that we don't have access to basic information. I don't quite understand it, and it shocks me. And our professor made a point saying, you know, if we were in the United States, this would be plastered over all of the newspapers and news outlets out there. And it made me wonder why we aren't doing it that in the first place. If I had my own newspaper, I would keep a running tally on the front page of every single organization that is exempt from our rules, from freedom of information or access to information. And then I would keep a running tally of every time a request was denied or every time that a request was filled out and returned back to the journalist with every single thing blacked out. Big black markers everywhere and no information was usable. I would add photos. Maybe we can make this into a magazine, a freedom of information magazine that basically asks every single person in the country, you know, send us pictures of your information or freedom of information requests and how they turned out. Did you get the information that you asked for? How long did it take? And how much did it cost? Um, I was reading, I think it was the CBC a month ago said that because of cutbacks, the information commissioner said they didn't really have enough money to keep helping all of these people who are asking for information. And someone went, well, wait a second, it only costs $5 to fill, to fill out a request and send it. So what if we made that more? What if we charged businesses, and um, including big news organizations, more money so that they can file the requests? Problem solved. The problem is they were suggesting $200 for a person, for a journalist, to put out a request to get information. That's $200 for information that we should already have for free. If you're a regular citizen, don't worry, you have, you, it would only be increased to about $25 or $35. But still, that's absolutely insane and I feel very strongly that this shouldn't be the case. So if anyone's interested in making this magazine with me, put a message on underneath this YouTube video because I think we should make it happen. The government should be held accountable not only for their actions and what they do in Parliament, but for keeping information private, information that is crucial to the public. So that's all I have to say about that. I don't really... I don't really have a snappy conclusion for this video because I'm very frustrated. Um, I'm going to be filing an FOI next week and hopefully it's successful and hopefully I don't get something filled with black marker. Here's hoping.